Hi, everybody. Greetings, friends. It's the Jim. And Dave. Beer, beer review. review. Dave, what's on tap for this beer review? As if I can't see it. It's just like, is this is this like a forced perspective? Or are these beers huge? <laughs> They're huge. They're 22. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus H. Tap dancing Christ. Look at the size of this MRF. -er. Oops, I had a little bit left over last time. Sorry. This is, this is from Lancaster Brewing Company. Look, this is the size of my head. That's how huge it is. This is like the head. same bottle of beers we had. I mean, the same size as that we had the Hobbit beers. Wow, this is huge. Yep. One pint plus six ounces. An Imperial Milk Stout Ale brewed with espresso. Espresso infused imper Imperial Milk Stout. So, not only in addition to being a huge, huge. bottle, but this Imperial on top of it. So, this is like... Is this four beers in one? This is like four beers in one. Oh boy, this might be our last beer review tonight because after this we are gone. <laughs> They're just it's automatically it's twenty two ounces, which is basically two beers, and then you got your eight percent ABV, which it wow. is, and which is usually about about the usual most beers are about four to five percent alcohol by volume. Regular beers like say like like Yingling or something like that. Brewed and bottled so by like, Lancaster Brewing yeah. Company. In Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Imagine the rich roasted malts, malts silky, silky smooth, smooth mouthfeel. Go ahead, you do no, it. No, that's uh, this is cool. Okay, and, and subtle, subtle sweetness, sweetness of our award-winning milk stout, kicked up a notch or two by the infusion. Oh, sorry. Of, oh, I had to go back. what's that word? I had to. I had, I had to scroll. Here, yeah, don't scroll. Read the My back of the eyes are, Oh, I can't go that bad. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Okay. Uh, kicked up a notch or two. Okay, by, by the, the infusion, infusion of locally dark roasted small batch coffee from, from our friends at Lancaster County, County Coffee Roasters. Roasters. Never heard of them. No. With, with cracked crack coffee, coffee beans, beans crack <laughs> with crack with the crack cracked coffee beans, beans in the mash, in the mash. Coffee, coffee in the boil, and cold brewed espresso in the finished beer. Just think of an Imperial Joe. As, as a milk, milk stout's rowdy big sister. 8% alcohol by volume. Original gravity is 19, 19 and IBUs are 55. Very reasonable. Not pasteurized, but stored, stored in a, a cool, cool place. place. Very cool. Lancaster Coffee. Uh, look, they got both logos on the back. Yeah. All right, here you go. Let's take a closer look at this label. That was the stuff that me and Dave just attempted yeah, to read. James, See, Lancaster logo. A, there's the, the coffee the place logo. This came with. And look at that. Big cow up front with yeah. a crown. That's Ooh. like... Uh, I guess this is what I call Imperial. Maybe the cow's name is Joe. I don't quite guess. This thing's heavy. And what is that inside the... Oh, that's a coffee bee. The Joe here has a coffee bee mm -hmm. on the inside. Let me look at it. Got it. Well, let me say, Jim and Dave. We care. You care. We care. But why, when you guys say you're trying to dial it down a little bit, you've been splitting beers. Why are you each having one of these? Well, we got a case, for one thing. In case, case it's only 12 well, beers, because... The because of the size. Yeah, size. So we figured, what the heck, this might be our last beer review tonight. Maybe not. Might be. Might be. We'll see how we go. We don't want to do too many because the palate, you know, yeah. you got to give it a chance to recover. But we're having a lot of fun tonight. This is great. Oh, uh, yes. And Dave's been happy because we've had a lot of stouts. Yes, yeah, stouts are my friends. Stouts and porters are my friends. Uh, All right. So, where we usually been sharing one, we're each going to pour our own tonight. Yep, 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 one of the things we do in a beer review is we talk about the color, but lately we decided with the stouts. It's dark. It's black. You can't see through it. With the brownish uh, foamy to it. Now, we've only poured a little bit. In case you can't see it. <laughs> only this much is in this thing right here. So. Oh, yeah. But it's already, we've given it a finger worth thing. That's what she it said. It is a very a caramel colored, uh, very tan sort of color. Um, yeah. yeah. A little crackle crackle. We're not going to bother That's microphoning it. it. A little smell. Mm. Well, espresso, hello, duh. Yeah. Yep, Major, duh. absolutely. Coffee notes, well, yeah, typically what you would expect. 
Yep. Dave, I'm almost feeling we're getting a rut when it comes to these uh, stouts because it's always like roasted notes, coffee notes, nice blah, 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 blah. No S Sherlock is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So should we even bother with this? Let's yeah. just get right in the drink. Drinky. Forget it. Drinky, drinky. Mm, nice. Oh. Mm. Hey, there's an impact there. What was it? Only 5% 5% ABV? No, excuse me. 8%. Eight no. Nice kick to that. Yeah. And yet, mm. It's not like a 9 or 10 where it's got a little bit more of an alcohol content. It's yeah, but still, it's very, very nice. I was great. Wow. Yeah. Great mouthfeel goes mm -hmm. down very nice. Yeah, 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 wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lancaster Brewing. I think you guys knocked it out of the park on this one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Perfect representation of the uh, espresso coffee stout mm -hmm. style. It's an imperial, so it's got the high alcohol, but it's not... You know, IBUs are 55, but that's not too bad because of the amount of Very well balanced. Yeah, yeah, very well balanced. Uh, that Well done. They did a good job on this very one. Good. Wow. Very good. Nice job, guys. I like this a lot. We may have rated a picture with one of my beer cats. Mm. Mm, mm, nice. Uh, Dave, give us a number. Do you, I mean, do, well, you didn't say anything about the flavor yet. What do you think? I like the flavor. It's got a nice, fulfilling... Um, full body oh. uh, taste to it. Uh, uh, the chocolatey, roasty, the not so much roasty, but chocolatey. It's got the milk taste to it too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's balanced. It's very well balanced. Very good. Mm. I mean, you know, mm. I wonder how much calories are in one of these beers here. It's probably like I don't want to know. I'm going to drink tomorrow regardless. But all I'm going to say is it's very well balanced. It's not overly bitter. Not mm. overly sweet. It has a great roasted taste to it. If you like stouts, you will love this one. Dave, I'm going to go out of the uh, my safe range here. I'm going to give this a 9. Ooh, I was going to give it an 8.5. Why are you knocking it off a half a one? Because, well... And this I is weird, because generous. you like stouts more than I do. I think I've been a little too generous with... I mean, that... that, that uh, what, was it? what did we have? It was uh, the... the um, uh, the one that was a nine that I had before was what uh, tonight? Yeah, uh, the uh, what was that? Um, I was, had a nine. Was that the one with the raven on it? No, that the poet that was an eight point five. Okay, I think or an eight. You don't think this is a little bit better than the poet? This is a little bit. This is. I I, I don't want to throw in this nine out there. Okay. All right, we'll consider you with it carefully. You know, we're not in a hurry. We still got uh, YouTube. Let's go to fifteen minutes. We're at seven forty-eight mm -hmm. right now. I give it eight point five. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, eight point five is good. You know, very good. Eight point five is good. I just, I just don't feel like it's a nine. Well, I feel it's a nine because when I first took my initial sip, I was all right. I'll be honest. I was surprised. I was like, "Wow, I really like this." And so, when you drink it and you have that kind of character, you think, "Wow." So, all right, maybe I can maybe revisit this later. I mean, I gave a, a Belgian triple. An 8.5 a few weeks ago, and then last week or two weeks ago, I gave it, I revisited it, and I gave it a 9. All right, well, if you're going to knock a half a point off, I would go out and think there is, despite the fact the IBUs are not necessarily that high. It's not the IBUs. It's just, it's it does just, have a bit of a bitter, yeah, lingering aftertaste. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, yeah. so fine. I'll agree with you there. I'd knock half half point myself. My initial thing was 9. Sorry, guys. Dave's right. A little bit of a lingering bitterness on the aftertaste, so I'll knock half point off for that. But very well balanced on the whole. We drink this all night long. So when Dave and I decide, <laughs> we talk about it, we agree it's an 8.5. Listen, nothing to be ashamed about. Not every beer can be a 10. You have to have a special level of magnificence to be a 10. But generally, 7, 8, 9, 10, all really high on the scale because to us it's like a I all beers double like curve. This. Yeah, absolutely. I mean the size. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's why. Tiny. That's what we got our size. I mean, size. I'm sure when you go like, 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 like uh, small people, small people um, got yeah, no um, reason um, to live. I'm sure, sure when they go to to go get a beer, it's like this. Okay, something that's like four foot yeah, five. Yeah, when, when I have a beer that's this size, I'm like, geez, I feel like a hobbit. Also, I'm <laughs> small next to this thing. It's like, oh my god, no. yeah, that's good stuff. Man. So there you have it, it's Jim and Dave beer review, and just to give you the quick government warning. Which is somewhere on here. Is there one According on here? to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to operate a car or heavy machinery and may cause health problems. 
And if you're under 21, please don't drink at all or we watch a beer review. Unless you're in the armed services, in which case, you know, if you want to die for your country, feel yeah, free to have a beer. Have I think. A beer. And I like the, the moo cow over here. The moo cow. Yes, nice artwork, guys. Yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, generally speaking, obviously we're putting this up on YouTube, perhaps even Vimeo. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Please comment below. Something you like, something you don't like, something you like to see different. Or even a suggestion of beer we should try. We'd love to hear from you. Because this is social media. Feel free to be social with us. And Dave, the reason we've been doing all these beer reviews is we believe that people out there, as well as you and me, obviously, should drink great beers. And have a good lap or two. With your friends. Yes. Dave is my friend. Ah, aye, 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 aye. That's my theme tonight. Oh, the Benny Hill thing. It was. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, the sound effects in later. I know. That's good. Mm. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye, Dave.